Sister Wives star Robin Brown's mourning Garrison Brown's passing. Long before that tragic event took place, she stopped posting at Instagram. Sister Wives star Garrison Brown just passed away, this is so sad, days after posting about adopting a cat. While he hadn't abandoned social media before his tragic death, Robin Brown stopped posting years ago. Robin's been cyberbullied with a vengeance. No one could possibly be as bad as she's made out to be, but many people think that Robin ruined the Brown family. While Janelle Brown was worried about her son's mental health back in 2023, few people care about Robin's state of mind. Robin, like the other Browns, will mourn Garrison's passing. However, as she's perceived as a villain, she may feel guilt, fear, and desolation. Right now, Janelle's going through hell, and so is Cody Brown. Their son was a wonderful person who loved animals. Janelle noticed him becoming, last year, as per In Touch Weekly, possibly due to tensions within the family. Problems at home create pain that hurts children. Garrison's passing is terrible, and people may be looking for someone to blame, but it's better to just be compassionate. No one wanted this to happen. Everyone is hurting, including Robin. Attitude has made Sister Wives fans turn against them. A lot of people who watch the show consider Robin a passive-aggressive woman who plays the victim while pulling the strings behind the scenes. This assessment is harsh, but sometimes, it does seem like Robin gets her way by influencing Cody. When Robin complains about never feeling like a part of the Brown family, she inflames the fan base. The person who accused Robin of destroying the family, as per Cody's fourth wife's Instagram account, had no pity for her. Did Robin ruin the family? Cody fell in love with her. That didn't seem like something that he could control. It just happened. He may not have expected to ever feel that way about anyone. Since he was totally in love with Robin, he started distancing himself from the other wives. Cody may have felt like he was cheating when he was with Janelle, Christine, and Mary Brown. Cody found out that he was a one-woman man. That created so many complications. They were polygamists who were famous for being polygamists. The true love situation, and there's no doubt that Cody truly loves Robin, would be so romantic in other circumstances. In the context of plural marriage, it was like a ticking time bomb. It was only a matter of time until Cody couldn't bring himself to act out the charade for one more day. Unfortunately, many people were hurt by Cody's devotion to Robin. They felt neglected and undervalued. They were angry, but repressed a lot of it until season 18, when it came pouring out. The patriarch loves his children, although Cody feuded with some of them. Garrison's passing is the worst thing that's ever happened to him, like a waking nightmare. Suicide is an awful thing. The kind of despair that leads to such an act is overpowering. While suicide hasn't been conclusively stated as the cause of death, it's been recorded by police, as per people, as Anna one should be judged for committing suicide. The people left behind shouldn't be judged either. Right now, everyone involved in this situation is judging themselves. They are thinking every bad thought that people can think. They are tearing themselves apart, trying to sort out what happened. They are struggling to accept what is real because it is so painful. When celebrities sign up to be reality TV stars, they know they'll be judged, but may not realize just how bad it's going to get. Cody's fourth wife was probably shocked by the hate. Robin was painted as a Disney villain and Black Widow spider. Of course, she's not all bad. It's just the nature of reality TV. People who watch want drama, and they're going to watch, get emotional, and express their thoughts online. That happens to all reality stars. Going quiet on IG was probably a smart decision. If Robin posted right now, in the wake of such a painful tragedy, some people, perhaps hiding behind anonymity, would be extremely cruel. When Robin bailed out on Instagram, she was surely doing what was best for her mental health and for her children. Via Robin's Instagram, a Sister Wives fan got vicious, 
calling out Robin and Cody's conduct during the COVID-19 pandemic. Cody was ultra-cautious, doing everything possible to avoid contracting the virus. A lot of Sister Wives fans were probably doing the same thing, but that didn't stop them from judging. Unfortunately, when Cody sequestered himself with Robin and asked the other wives to follow his strict rules, he alienated some of his kids. They missed their father. Under all their anger, they were sad. They wanted his love and attention. It was a tough situation. Cody was right to worry about COVID. In his mind, he probably strongly believed that he was doing what was best for everyone. There was no way for him to know what would happen. Janelle was concerned about Garrison and Gabriel Brown's mental health during this precarious time. She probably worried a lot. Janelle and Cody love their children. They are parents who lost a child, but it's not fair to say that it's only Robin's fault that the family fell apart. A range of factors acted on the Browns. The most obvious problem was a relationship model, polygamy, that set the stage for so much heartache among parents and their children. The patriarch is supposed to love all his wives, but real love doesn't work that way. When a person's truly in love, they won't look at another person and want them. So Cody was in a real bind. He loved Robin. He only wanted her. Now that the Brown family has changed and Garrison is gone, it's so easy to say, they did this or they did that. But again, who knew that such a horrible thing would happen? Yes, Janelle had concerns but she surely had no idea that her son would take his own life. Of course, she didn't know. Robin and Cody didn't either. To call Cody and Robin self-righteous is self-righteous. They have problems for sure. Their main problem was that they just wanted to be with each other, leaving three other wives in the lurch. Some children felt that it was all about Robin and the kids she shared with Cody. There were so many hurt feelings and strong, negative emotions. It was a troubled situation. However, only Garrison, who will be missed, knew everything that he was feeling. As seen in the E! News clip shown above, via YouTube, Garrison was a sweet person who brought joy to the lives of those around him. His problems were serious, but he was a good person. Janelle's heart is breaking and she will need a lot of time to heal. She was a very loving mother. Robin took control of my sister-wife's closet, becoming its designer and leader. This may have irked the other wives. Robin already got the lion's share of Cody's love, attention, and resources. Now, she was taking something else. For a while, the arrangement seemed to work, but then things went awry. Robin began to falter as a businesswoman. The company ground to a halt, and on Robin's IG, one fan shaded her, deeming the jewelry designs tacky. They may be right, but comments like this are the reason why Robin's not active on Instagram today. These scathing remarks may have pushed her to stop producing my sister wife's closet designs. What seemed like a great business idea just didn't come together. Now, the company's official website is in limbo. There may never be progress there. Possibly, under Robin's stewardship, the firm was not profitable. A lot of mystery surrounds my sister wife's closet. Robin earned the unwanted nickname, Sobbin' Robin, because she seemed to cry at the drop of a hat. Now that Garrison's passed away, she has good reason to sob. This tragedy is so horrible, it's probably making Robin and other Brown family members wish that they'd never signed on to do the show. Reality TV fame is hard on kids. Likewise, those who cover the show or comment about it online are probably questioning themselves and wishing they could take things back. It's all terrible, but before the tragedy, Robin still got attacked. Her crying got on viewers' nerves. Some considered the waterworks Robin may be crying right now, and if she is, her tears are definitely real. Now, what seemed like a wild circus, the Brown family's ups and downs is something different. Rather than almost cartoonish sister-wives drama, there is real pain. The family's problems may not have been all that was hurting Garrison and pushing him into despair. Other factors were probably affecting him. However, 
since the family imploded recently, it seems like the Brown family's problems were the catalyst for a heartbreaking event that no one fully anticipated. This may or may not be true. According to the Mayo Clinic, the signs that someone is thinking about suicide. The same source revealed some things that are common among people who are considering suicide, including, Robin gets the blame for everything. According to TMZ, Garrison sent a concerning text before his passing, which was directed at some members of the Sister Wives production crew. It wasn't a mean text, but it showed glimmers of his inner life. He said, That text wasn't for Sister Wives Janelle Brown, but she found out about it and her female intuition went into overdrive. She felt that something was wrong and started texting her son. They chatted a bit via text and things seemed okay. However, he bailed out of the chat. At that point, she became extremely concerned and asked someone to check on her son. Sadly, it was too late. Garrison, who allegedly had an addiction to alcohol, was already gone. This is so sad. It's wrenching for the whole family, for Robin too. Garrison may have wanted privacy, rather than to be on television. Since alcohol's a depressant, any drinking he allegedly did might have darkened his mood. Now, the boy who loved his mother so much has passed away. That is not something Robin or anyone else should be blamed for. Yes, some of Cody's children felt that his love for Robin led him to put all of his time and energy into their relationship and their children. Those thoughts were communicated on screen during Sister Wives season 18. However, Cody shouldn't be blamed for this either. Families can have serious problems, a lot more serious than they appear to other people. Garrison may have had mental health issues that led him to make this tragic choice. Right now, assigning blame is the worst thing that a Sister Wives fan can do. In fact, any mean comments that the family gets right now are totally inappropriate. These remarks may be seen and do great emotional damage. The Browns are deep in grief, and it's going to be a hard road for all of them. This type of loss is so severe that it changes the lives of those left behind forever. So, everyone should be careful not to hurt the family as they try to accept what's happened. There's no getting over something like this. There's only acceptance. Janelle tried to save her son. She was there, valiantly attempting to make sure he was okay. She loved him. He loved her. Robin's been mom-shamed over and over again. She's a human being like everyone else. But the fact that Cody so obviously preferred her brings out the very worst in some Sister Wives fans. They are unable to get past this and think that she's the reason why a happy family became unhappy. Is it really that simple? No, definitely not. Was the family ever really that happy? Probably not. There were good times in the early seasons and now is the time to really treasure those memories. Unfortunately, a lot of viewers seem to use hating Robin as an outlet. They express their own negative emotions while they attack her. This is the pattern that's emerged. People forget that Robin's a wife, mother, and human being. They paint her as a villain, and she may deserve some shade, but the mom shaming's out of hand. When she got called out for hiring a nanny, it was just another example of how people put Robin in a princess role. They think she has it easy. Imagine what her life's like right now. Garrison's gone, she knows she's going to get blamed, and she lives with Cody, who just lost his own child. Robin does not have it easy, she will not have it easy from this point on. For years, she's been dragged online, and that's why she's not posting on Instagram now, she knows better. Thousands of hateful comments have come her way over the years. Instagram's not a safe place for Robin. Of course, she loves her children and tries to take care of them as best she can. The fact that Robin hired a nanny isn't a crime. Robin posted a cute selfie, and perhaps because she looked so good, fans began to throw shade. In the post above, Robin smiled and held some flowers. It's the type of post that any woman might add when she's happy but a lot of Sister Wives fans don't want Robin to be happy. That's why they try to make her feel bad. In their eyes, 
Robin's a monster, but really, she's just a typical woman who wanted a man all to herself. Few women really enjoy sharing their partners, so that's not actually so monstrous. The issue is that she wasn't totally affront about that. She played the part of a caring sister-wife. Underneath, she was interested in being monogamous with Cody. Women should ask themselves, would I want my husband all to myself? If they're honest, they'd probably say yes. Robin posted a picture of Christine and fans went on the offensive. They don't think that she cares about Christine. In some respects, they may have a point, as the two women feuded. However, Robin's feelings for Christine may have been complicated rather than non-existent. In other words, she might have liked her sometimes and disliked her other times. So the fact that Robin posted this might not have been totally insincere. To expand on that type of example, Robin and Janelle weren't close, but Robin probably feels very sorry for Janelle right now and sincerely cares that her son is gone. People aren't always so black and white. Fans believe that they understand Robin, but her inner world features thoughts and emotions that they don't see. Sister Wives Robin has been placed in a no-win situation. If she's nice, she's labeled fake. If she's mean, she's criticized. She knows all of this, and that's why she's not active on Instagram today, even when she'd probably like to honor Garrison. It's a time for Sister Wives fans to dial down the hate and see the bigger picture. Someone is gone.